I'm going to talk a little bit about this Lincoln. I already did a review. I'll link it below. Uh, not that I have that many. If you go to my channel, you'll see I had an unboxing of this. And it was my very first video I did. And then later on, I used it for the first time. <clears throat> but I created, I shot some other video, and this kind of, it'll be a little jumbled up just because I shot pieces and um, I never came back to finish it. So I'm going to do this as an intro to it. And for some reason, when I shot the video, I'm actually up, the camera was upside down for some reason. But you can see how it works. Uh, what I did is I set this up for using my cutting torches. And uh, this is the, the Viking, the Lincoln Viking 3350-3. Uh, I mean, it's a 3350, it's a 3034-3, sorry. And it's a black uh, auto darkening helmet. And it's been a great helmet, but I, I wanted to see how it worked as a cutting torch with a five or six lens. And you'll see what I'm doing it. I was having problems with a five. Any little light, it just kept flicking off and on over and over again. So I set up to six and it's, it also was pretty sensitive as um, far as the shade. But, um, but it worked even, even when it was you know, by itself without the lens going to a five, it was, it was almost like I was, you know, real light sunglasses on. So keep watching, you'll see me switch over and you'll see me switch over again. It's just putting it all together. But it's a quick video about using this uh, for a cutting torch. Hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to look at the, the back of my camera while it's sitting inside my hood. And as you can see, it'll actually, it's turning it dark when it gets too bright. The, the screen's going dark. It's like flashing back and forth right now. I may have the sensitivity too low. I can't hardly do this. I'm going to try changing the shade a little. I think I will make it a shade six. Let's see if you can see it. I'm going to turn the sensitivity. Now just touch the sensitivity. Alright, at least we can tell more if it goes dark on us with a shade six. Okay, yeah, so I come out of focus. As soon as I come in, it's like changing on me. Okay, it's harder than it looks. Holding this with my left hand, got the camera in the hood. <laughs> Trying to work this with my right hand while I was looking around the edge of the hood. But hey, at least you can see how that works. So I'm gonna finish cutting these and then I'll come back and weld these little round caps on. I just deal with that scrap piece of junk there. So I gotta cut these circles out and take the slag off the edges of it so I can weld it with a MIG, MIG welder. I got the MIG welder hooked up and I don't really feel like swapping out the cables just for this quick job. And it's just a clothesline put behind the house. So, be back at the while.